All right, well, yes, much better weather is on the way later this week. We are going to start to see more of that spring like uh, weather returning to the UP, but for right now we have to deal with some winter weather for maybe the next couple of days. So for tonight, a few light snowflakes around. Uh, the majority of the snow looks to be in the higher elevations at DeBerga and at Marquette County. That's where we could see upwards to four to maybe even five inches of snow throughout the night. But for the majority of us, probably not going to see much. Minor accumulations are around one to three. Tomorrow afternoon, we do see partial sunshine back into the region, but then more clouds come back in for tomorrow night with another chance of light snow and or rain as we head into the time frame time frame there. Gets out of here early Wednesday morning and we'll be watching out for that mild air on its way afterwards. Currently at 32 degrees with multiple cloudy skies, winds out of the west northwest at 24 miles per hour. Lower 30s for us in Marquette, but as you head farther off to the west, you will notice numbers in the lower 30s just below that number at 31, 32 in Ironwood, 36 into Crystal Falls and eastward. Numbers in the middle 30s in Munising and Manistique, 39 in Escanaba, the middle 30s in St. Ignace, and uh, looking at our winds right now, they are breezy, 25 in Houghton, 20, 14 as you go down into Iron Mountain, and wind chills upper teens, lower 20s across the UP with 50s as you head farther south. And current satellite and radar shows the snow working its way in from the northwest. We'll continue to see chances of this as we head into the evening with the system uh, still in place. And we'll, we'll be watching out for the snow to work its way in, but then eventually work its way out by tomorrow morning. You're looking at your setup right now. You can see the area of low pressure continuing to spin across Lake Superior, bringing in that snowfall force, especially across the shorelines of Lake Superior. Farther south, not going to see quite as much force. Slightly cooler air as we go into tomorrow evening and going into tomorrow night, but should it be due too bad for us? High pressure builds in just for uh, a few short hours before another system comes in for tomorrow night. Now, this is what I want to talk about. We've been dealing with a lot of cold weather and also a lot of snow as of recent, but sweet relief is on the way. High pressure just off to our west. We'll move off to the south. That will give us more of this southerly wind. The jet stream retreats back off to the north. Sunshine will be in place with high pressure and firm control. Pleasant outside for us by the end of the week. And how warm are we expecting things to get? Well, look at this. Highs in the 50s and the 60s as we head into Saturday and then by Sunday as we start off the next week probably seeing more of the same. Your futurecast model tonight mostly cloudy skies snow all across the region uh, we will get that out of here by early tomorrow afternoon. More clouds come back in for tomorrow evening tomorrow night. Here's our next feature that comes in with snow and also seeing some of those rain showers as you go farther or south closer to the shorelines of Lake Michigan but either way not going to see a lot with this it gets out of here quickly afterwards we do start to improve. Tonight we'll drop down to 25 chilly with scattered snow showers and winds out of the north northwest at 10 to 15. Chilly with little sunshine as we head into our Tuesday. Highs in the uh, 30s and 40s at 34 in Launce, 42 in Iron Mountain, upper 30s in Escanaba and Manistique, and at 36 in Munising. Your forecast over the next seven days, 30s will turn into 50s eventually as we head into Thursday. That slight chance of rain and snow early as we head into Wednesday. Mostly sunny skies Friday and Saturday with high pressure taking over. Getting closer to the 60s as we head into Saturday before slightly cool air comes back in as we head into Sunday and Monday.